very welcome back to the show now. Everyone reacts differently to stressful situations and with the current outbreak of the COVID-19 virus, people's stress and anxiety levels may be higher than usual. Now, fortunately, there are ways to ease your coronavirus-related stress and joining us now to tell us more about one effective technique, havening, is the Director of UK and International Havening, Stephen Travers. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. It's a, it's a scary time for a lot of people. We've been talking about it for weeks now. It's finally hit home with an awful lot of people, Ireland. We're, we're kind of in a almost lockdown situation now. Um, what is your background? What is Havening? Yeah, well, first of all, I've over 15 years experience specialising in helping people overcome anxiety-based disorders, trauma and building emotional resiliency. So Havening is a groundbreaking psychosensory therapy. What does psychosensory mean? Psychosensory means we use sensory touch where we gently stroke the arms hands and face. We won't be doing the face today though. No, we will not. We're being very responsible here. <laughs> and we use pleasant psychological distraction. Yeah. So what's happening at the moment, a lot of people are feeling obviously very stressed and fearful and trapped by what's happening. That's increasing cortisol and adrenaline in their brain and body. And it's pulling people into that fight, flight or freeze response. That's why you're seeing the, the panic buying and yeah. uh, the, some of the irrational behavior, behavior happening now. So the havening touch uh, increases serotonin, oxytocin, and GABA in the brain. This happens when you feel very calm and relaxed. These are these pleasant, calming neurochemicals. So they can reduce your heart rate, your blood pressure, and just calm your whole autonomic nervous system down. Yeah, because things, hormones like cortisol, not only uh, uh, do they cause stress, they can weaken our immune system as well. That's so it's not good to be having these. It can have both a, men both a mental and a physical um, reaction. Nobody needs a compromised immune system really uh, at this time. Yeah, short-term stress tends to be good to motivate us to do things. But yeah, because fight or flight is going back to the caveman days. That there's, yeah. a, there's a woolly mammoth or a saber-toothed child we're running after. Exactly. You need to get so, away. so the purpose of it is to keep us safe so we yeah. can survive. But prolonged stress, what's starting to happen now, because this thing seems like it could be going on for months, and people are perceiving the sense of inescapable stress. When you perceive inescapability, it shoots up your cortisol and adrenaline levels. Yeah. But this treatment, the havening treatment, can help quickly uh, reduce the anxiety and fear uh, people may be feeling. Where did it actually originate? It was developed by an American doctor called Ronald Rudin. He's a Harvard University academic. He's a neuroscientific researcher, and uh, he's the largest medical practice in New York City. And it really goes back to 2001. He was talking to uh, Paul McKenna, and Paul McKenna was talking to him about tapping techniques. She might have heard yeah, have, something yeah. about tapping. So Dr. Rudin really started studying things like tapping and worked out how trauma gets encoded in the brain and how sensory touch can change what's happening in the brain and the body quickly and effectively in terms of calming your whole system down. A lot of it goes back to when you're a child, when you're born, and you're put into your mother's arms and you're hugged yeah. and you feel safe. So all these associations through touch are helping us feel calmer and more relaxed. And I suppose everyone loves hugging somebody they love. We can't really do a lot of that at the moment. There's a lot of anxiety around that at the moment. Um, and that, that human connection that we all need isn't really there. Um, how does havening help somebody who is having a stress-related anxiety when it comes to uh, COVID-19? Well, the best way of maybe doing it, I can demo it. Yeah, maybe you actually okay. demonstrate for anyone at home. Can, you, can anyone do this now watching at home yes. right now? So I'll actually ask you to, to look at, at the, the camera okay. here and just talk to our viewers. So maybe if you'd this. like to even follow along with me, Elaine. Okay. So... To the viewers at home, if you're feeling any type of stress, anxiety or fear that's been building up for the last two days, uh, just take a moment and think about what you're feeling. And just get in touch with that fear, anxiety or stress about what's happening with uh, this virus. And just notice on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being very uncomfortable and zero being calm, how high does that stress and anxiety go? Then just clear your mind and begin using the havening touch. So if you'd like to follow along with me, so start stroking from the top of your shoulders all the way down to your elbows. And imagine walking into a beautiful park or along a beautiful beach on a bright summer's day. So just distract your mind away from what you're thinking about. And with every step you imagine taking, count out loud from one to 20. One, two, Three, keep stroking, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Really imagine walking along the beach or the park. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now I'd like you to move to something called palm havening where you're gently massaging the palms of your hands. And we're going to do a bit more distraction. We can have a little bit of fun with this. I'd like you to, everyone at home, to hum happy birthday. We're already doing it as we wash our hands. So let's uh, hum or sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I'm not doing that. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> happy birthday, dear Elaine. Happy birthday to you. The distraction part is giving your brain an escape from what you were thinking about. Yeah. Right? So it's taking your brain away. And then just go back to the arms, taking a slow, deeper breath. And just notice what's changing, if you're feeling more calmer, if you're feeling more relaxed. And then I'd like you to, we're going to count backwards very quickly down from 30 to zero in twos out loud. So at home, I'd like you to start counting with me. 30, 28, 26, 24, 22, 20, 18, 16, relaxing with every number, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, Four, two, zero. Just keep gently stroking. Now this is, I know it looks strange. Yeah. But this is helping to downregulate the cortisol, the adrenaline. The sensory touch is increasing serotonin, oxytocin. And that. And it starts calming yeah. your whole nervous system down. Yeah. I know like we're, we are, we're limited on time, yeah, we, but doing uh, at least five minutes off it can make a significant difference. Yeah, so you just keep doing that for about five minutes, those sort of techniques. Yeah, and, and keep distracting help. yourself yeah. away from what you're thinking about mm. uh, and focus on the arms and the hands. Yeah, uh, is, I mean, there's a lot of uh, celebrity advocates of mm. this at the moment. You mentioned Paul McKenna uh, a short time ago. I know you've worked with him. He's, he's a great... Uh, supporter of this sort of technique, Justin Bieber has used it. He's, yes, he's, just, he's, he's yeah. really, really into it at the moment. So it, it does work for a lot of people whose lives are under constant stress. Yeah, Justin Bieber just came out recently. He was suffering a lot with anxiety and stress and uh, Havening has made a significant difference for him. Uh, we've got like doctors, psychologists, therapists all around the world now training in Havening. Um, primarily using it for anxiety-based disorders and trauma, yeah. and they're getting remarkable results with it. Yeah, and, and of course, I suppose it's gaining in popularity all the time, and it's relatively easy to do once you've trained yourself. Do you, is there, I, I know one-on-ones aren't really uh, advocated right now, but um, is there online tutorials you can do with this, if or people, is that what you do? Yeah, I have a lot of YouTube videos. If people go onto my YouTube channel, they can find free videos. Uh, of self havening, so they're much longer sessions. And there's links to that from your website from as well? From my website, just Which, click on the YouTube channel. I think we have your, your website details there on yeah. screen as well shortly. Susan, thank you very much for joining us on the show today. I nearly had a little snooze in the middle of that, I don't know about anybody else. Now, I wasn't very good at counting backwards, because my maths is always terrible. I was a bit confused for all of that, but, but apart from that, yeah. I think we've done some people of great benefit today. Stephen, thank you okay. so much thank for you, joining Lynn. us on the show today. Thank now, you. we'll take a quick break, but when we come back, the National Child Line Manager tells us how the current climate has changed how are their fundraising see you for that in three